In this session, we will look at real estate as the alternative investment category. Now, obviously real estate by the common term, layman will understand that this is something relating to the property or in the form of land or building. And that is true. So there are various kinds of or ways in which an individual or as an institutional investor can invest or take an exposure to a real estate investment. Let's understand how. So some of the basic forms of real estate investments are uh, presented on this slide. Let's understand them one by one. The two broad categories or the modes in which an investor, either an individual or an institution, uh, they can take an exposure in the real estate investment are in the form of debt or equity and the investment which they are making could be a public kind of an investment or it could be a private kind of an investment now these are the four quadrants in which any kind of an investment of real estate will form in its basic categories so let's understand them one by one. The first one where the investment is in the form of a debt or of a private nature. So this is more from a situation where the bank has provided lending to an individual for his residential property or a house. So that is called a mortgage, traditional mortgage and it is backed or the house serves as the collateral for that kind of a loan or a mortgage. The other category is construction lending where the banks or institutions lend to some company which is into the business of real estate construction. Now equity is more from a point of direct ownership in real estate either in a land or building and that if it is in a private form then that kind of an investment will fall under this quadrant. The other form of a private investment in the form of equity in real estate is where you are a sole owner of that land or a property being developed or you are in a JV partner or you form a limited liability partnership form to develop that land and build the property or you invest in the form of an equity for a commingled fund which will invest in these kind of private equity forms in the real estate properties. Let's look at some of the public types of investments both in debt and equity. So when you invest in a mortgage backed security whether that is backed by residential uh, properties or commercial properties it's a public form of a debt security. They are many of the MBS or mortgage backed securities are traded in the market so it will be classified here or an investor can choose to invest in collateralized mortgage obligations we'll understand more on this in later slides the public equity form of investment in real estate takes or can be done in the form of sh buying shares of real estate companies that's the most straightforward form of an equity ownership in the publicly traded form or you can also buy shares or units of real estate investment trusts now popularly known as REITs REITs now these REITs or real estate investment trusts are kind of a mutual fund but focused only on real estate sector so it's very straightforward if we put it in that way that REITs are mutual funds with specific focus on real estate investments they could take equity exposure in real estate properties be it residential or commercial or they could take a debt exposure also in residential or commercial properties so that broadly classifies the basic forms of real estate investments that is either it is in a debt form which is a lending form or an equity which is a riskier form of investment and both these could be in the private entities or private enterprises or private properties or they could be in the form of a publicly traded investments nature. There are certain variations in this form of real estate investments. Let's understand them. Now, if there is a direct ownership 
meaning when you are buying a property and the title is obtained free from any kind of encumbrances meaning that property is not having any mortgage loan outstanding then it is a straight 100% equity form of a direct ownership in the property whereas there could be a leveraged ownership also where you are buying a property and the title is obtained or the, basically the money is paid by a mix of your own money and mortgage financing meaning you approach a bank or an institution to give you a housing loan or a mortgage loan now this kind of mortgage financing is obviously secured by the property itself in case the owner is not able to meet or service the interest payments or principal repayments then the property is the security available to the lender to recover the mortgage payments and another variation is when the financing is provided to the mortgage borrowers it represents a passive kind of an investment where the lender is expecting to receive a preset or a pre-decided series of payments in the form of EMIs or loan repayment installments over a fixed period of the loan so this can be in the form of a loan for specific properties where there is a specific identifiable property for a single particular loan or the investment could be for a pool of mortgage loans where the mortgage loans are provided to various properties and then that is pooled or uh, what you can say bunched together they are pooled or bunched together and then securitized and sold down to other investors in the form of mortgage backed securities and another variation is an equity type of an exposure can be taken in the real estate sector by investing in vehicles such as real estate limited liability partnerships or REIT structures that is real estate investment trust which we already discussed in the last slide the broader categories of real estate investment are one residential property where the investment either in the debt or equity form is going into a property which is for residential purposes where people are going to stay it's their house or it could be in a commercial property by commercial property we mean the retail malls or proper offices and all the kind of properties that are used for business purposes so they are classified as commercial property another category is REIT investing it is a where you are investing your money in a REIT that is a real estate investment trust which will further invest directly in properties or they could invest in a pool of mortgage loans or they could buy mortgage backed securities or they could buy collateralized mortgage obligations etc etc there are various types of styles and structures of investing in REITs so you can pick and choose your own REIT kind uh, REIT exposure whether you want a direct exposure in the property or you want an indirect exposure by REIT investing in MBSs or CMOs. So that that's where MBS, where you are directly investing in an MBS yourself, then that's called an indirect investment with an exposure to either residential or commercial property, depending upon whether the mortgage-backed securities are backed by the underlying of residential or commercial properties. And another form of investment is timberland or farmland where the idea is you are investing in a land parcel which is having trees and when the timber prices are high you will harvest the trees and sell the timber to earn money and then the trees will be sowed again and after a certain period of time they will grow and again you will sell the timber so that is timber business or there is a farmland where you bought a property and it is used for agricultural purposes and that is uh, there could be cash crops cotton soya beans etc could grown and then harvested there could be seasonal crops so in a year there could be many crops that you harvest and sell them and generate your return so this is another category of real estate investment which is obviously not traditional but has been looked at by many high net worth individuals or other investors as a form of real estate investment now the point of real estate investment is that it could 
act as a huge diversification benefit in a portfolio most of the times they are not directly linked with or they are not directly correlated with the traditional forms of investments in equity stocks or bonds so hence real estate investments do offer high diversification benefit the returns that are generated from a real estate investment are either in the form of a regular income you know, that is rental income from commercial properties or residential properties which are let out or the other income that can be generated from real estate investment is in the form of capital appreciation where you buy property you hold it for a certain period the prices appreciate and you sell the property to generate capital gains for yourself